So today I want to talk about a plugin I made for OBS that's had more than 20,000 downloads. <laughs> Before we talk about the details of the app, let's talk about why I made the app in the first place. In OBS, I came across a plugin that you could download and install for Windows, but I couldn't use it on Mac and I have a I use a MacBook when I'm recording OBS a lot of the times and I wanted to be able to use it on Mac OS. So I went down a rabbit hole to try and compile the code for Mac uh, and what made it a bit harder was it was an ARM chip on Mac which was even more of a pain in the arse to compile for. And that just took me down this rabbit hole of uh, looking at code and uh, learning, a, well relearning, learning about CMake and C++ and com compilation of that code. After the whole debacle, I eventually got it to work. I also used OBS's new templated code they have for plugins. And in that, if you have it on GitHub, you can set it so that it automatically compiles the app for Mac, Windows, and Linux, which is really cool. Um, so I did that. So I believe the app is called Image Reaction, if I remember correctly. And it was developed by a person called Scaled. This plugin takes an image, listens to some audio, and it will change the image to another image that you set when you're talking. And this is what I use for my floating head um, when I'm doing my recordings or my streams. Uh, massively helpful, and you know, a lot of thanks to Scaled for that. But originally that was only available for Windows, and through my messing about and marking my head against a wall, I eventually got it compiled for Mac and Linux. And Scaled actually wrote in, um, like in the description now for that plugin, uh, they put in a link for if you want to run it on Mac to my GitHub uh, uh, repo, which was cool. So thanks Scaled, but also thanks Scaled for making the plugin in the first place. But from that, I thought to myself, it would be cool to try and make my own plugin, try and learn a bit of C++ or relearn it because I'd done some before back in the day. Not as much as I thought I had. And that kept me down uh, a weird rabbit hole of what to, well, first of all, I went down this rabbit hole of trying to learn C++, trying to understand how to make a plugin for OBS. And the biggest problem was to think of what I could, what plugin to make as my first example plugin. And I came across something where, and this is something I was looking for myself, was a countdown timer. Um, I, I like to use like a lot of streamers they have like a countdown timer um, while people are waiting on the stream <clears throat> and once it's countdown you, you kind of switch to the scene you start kind of chatting or whatever and I looked at what was available on the OBS forums website where the plugins are listed and all of the countdown timers seem to be stuff that you either it's a Lua script which is fine <clears throat> or it was um, some sort of weird, like you download the plugin, but it creates a server, Node.js server thing. You hook up to that via a web browser window or something, and then you use that, which was a little bit faffy. So I wanted to make something that was native for uh, within OBS, so like a plugin that you just kind of like, once you've selected it, it sits there on the dock, it's native, you press the start and pause buttons, countdown timer starts or stop or whatever uh rather than faffing about with a bit with web browser uh doc windows and all that nonsense and so i decided to try and do a countdown timer and well it was a bit of a nightmare but anyway i ended up making a countdown plugin eventually now what i'm going to do next is i'll just uh demonstrate the plugin Hopefully it'll take me like a couple of minutes, just a couple of minutes. And you can see what I ended up making. Okay. So once you've installed the plugin um, in the correct place or run the installer, if you open up OBS, you should be able to go to the docs menu and select countdown timer. Clicking that. Now it will pop up. Um, it will usually kind of pop up like so do that like so it will just pop up as a dockable window um 
something like this and you'll just be able to dock it wherever you want i just have it usually on top of the chat well i have chat here and i have it just here and as you can see you've got the uh the timer you um some selection options um and some drop downs so the first thing you want to do is how this works is it will link with a a text field that you have on your scene or on any scene to be fair so I've got the demo scene set up. I'm just going to add a text source, uh, free type two. Uh, I'm just going to call this countdown. Okay. Um, so we're going to have just um, test. We'll have that there. We can select the font. So doing it this way, you can get all the. Don't like wait. Where's the just not condensed? That'll do. Right. Okay. So what we can do is just kind of set this uh, form screen to command D. Um, center that to the screen. What we have to do here now is under source, we need to select the text source. So this will um, fill with any text sources that you have in any of the scenes. Uh, on your scene collect in your scene collection in OBS. So I'm gonna choose countdown text and pressing so that that selects the source. These drop down these options if you can have a message play when the countdown goes to zero or you can switch to a scene use by ticking the scene option um and choosing which scene you want to switch to. So for now I'm not gonna have it switch scene. I'm just going to have it play it, show a message when it's done. So bang. Um, you can also say what you want, uh, whether you want to show the hours, minutes, and seconds. So for example, um, if I say minutes and seconds, it will show the minutes and seconds. You can see that currently I've got it set to 59 seconds and zero minutes. But say one hour, one minute, 59 seconds, it will only show you the minutes and seconds. Again, if I just select the hours, I'll show you the hours as well. So for now, we're just going to have it showing the minutes and seconds. Um, I'll just, uh, it's com Command D or Control D to center that. <clears throat> and simply just click away that, starting or start the countdown. So pausing will pause it, restart, well, start again, pause, and then you can reset it. Relatively simple. So what we're going to do is going to just set it to 10 seconds. Set that. Play it down. And again, you can customize this text however you want. All this does is it overwrites it with the current countdown time. Bang. Um, the other thing you can do is switch to a different scene. So we'll set this to 5. Set it. Enter that. And when this counts down, it'll switch to this test scene, which is a bit of a mess. And that's it. Relatively simple. Um, you can see that I've been changing the hours, minutes, and seconds under the periods tab. There is another tab called time. And in this, you just put in the time that you want to set it to. So currently it is 1040. So I will say 1041. And hopefully... So this will just look at your local time that you have just now, and it's just turned to 10.41, so I'm going to say 10.41, 50 seconds, 40 seconds, and hopefully if I do this, it's uh, 27 seconds to go, 26 seconds to go. So that will just count down to that time that you set, um, rather than putting in the specific period. The time will only work for up to... Um, the day like if you put like 1 a.m next morning it should work but if you then try to do like 11 i think it works up to midnight i can't remember it's a little bit glitchy because it switched um but i remember if i now put 1 a.m will that work i think i would have tested this and it just said 10 no i said one Will that give me the hours required? 
No. Yeah, so you can only put in a time up to midnight, I believe. Uh, having said that, having written this, I think it's like 11. <laughs> anyway, um, the time is a little bit glitchy. I usually use the period. So there you go. I made a countdown plugin for OBS and a bunch of people have downloaded it, which is kind of mental when I think about it. Do tell me how, what you guys think uh, of this video in the comments. Have any of you decided to try the plugin out? Have you had any, any of you had any issues? Do any of you have any ideas of what type of functionality you'd like to see in OBS via plugin? Any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Any comments uh, and any feedback. But yes, I'll leave it there for now. Stop rambling. I'm Ash Mannix. This was me talking about my OBS plugin. And hopefully I plan to do, well, I've got another video to do on another plugin I've done. That will come out sometime in the future. But for now, I'm Ash Mannix and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.